If you were like me, you probably love to save time. You're trying to juggle running a business with having a marriage, with having kids, with getting them to robotics practice or whatever else. I, I don't know anyone who says, gosh, I just have so much time on my hands. But I am constantly amazed that when we talk about saving time, we don't talk about becoming better problem solvers and decision makers. If you're trying to save time and you're talking about meal prep or organizing your house in a different way, or maybe hiring out something in your business or hiring out something in your life, right? These are all time-saving tips. But if we are solving the wrong problems that aren't really going to move us forward, that's a waste of time. If you are a wobbly decision maker, ah, oh, should I do this, should I do that? I don't know what to do, I don't know. Like, you're going to waste time, okay? Well, maybe you're amazing at those things. You're a fabulous problem solver. You're a fabulous decision maker. Is everyone in your life those things? How much pro productivity is lost when your employees, well, I don't know what to do. Well, I mean, I'm really upset about this and this is happening. And also Tommy over in accounting is mad at me and this is also happening. And I'm, I'm really upset that I don't have more money in my budget. That's what I call spaghetti thinking. And they're all over the place. You ask them one question and they, they go to one topic and they switch to a different topic and they're talking about their emotions and they're talking about practical problems and they're talking about someone else and they're talking about work-life balance, right? All over the place. How much productivity is lost? Maybe it's your kids doing this. Well, I don't know, maybe I'll do this and, and maybe I'll go here and, and maybe I'll do this for college and maybe I'll do this for my job, right? It doesn't matter, even if we're fabulous decision makers and problem solvers, unless everyone in our life is like dead on it with us, it's wasting our time. And whenever I talk to people about this process, they're like, huh, yeah, I mean, I know I'm supposed to be empathetic and be a good listener, fabulous. I totally support active listening. I totally support kindness, fabulous. But can you lead them into a decision? Can you lead them into solving a problem? Can you help the people in your life untangle their thoughts so that they're not always stuck? So that next year, they don't have the same problems they have this year, which is always my sign of moving on. Um, will there always be trouble? Yes, unfortunately, I, I, you know, I don't think I'll ever get to a point to not have any problems. Uh, if you have $10 million, you have problems. If you only have $10, you have money problems. Uh, but there's certainly the problems that come with $10 million are certainly better than the problems that come with only having $10. So, so we're always going to have problems, but we can certainly up level to a better set of problems. Okay. And we can certainly upset to a process of decision making, a process of leading others through their problems. And it's really very simple. Setting a target, getting, getting clear in our head. It's funny, I was talking about being clear and stumbled over the word. Getting clear in our head. And I was in a fabulous executive leadership training and someone said, clarity is kind. Clarity is also productive. Clarity is also going to save you time. It's going to save you energy from not wasting time hoping people will change. If you're clear about your boundaries, this is these are my decisions to make. This is someone else's decision to make. This is my problem to solve. This is someone else's problem to solve. You save time. If you don't ignore problems, right? How, how often do people go to the doctor and the doctor said, why didn't you come in earlier? Well, you know, I just thought I would wait until... It got as terrible as possible, and so that way it took 10 times as long to recover. I, you know, I just thought that would be a good idea. We don't think that way, right? Uh, but we do it, right? I was at a workout class, and there was a lady. She was a fitness instructor, and she pulled out her back and said she had not made time to go to the chiropractor. I was like, you're, you're, you're a fitness instructor. You're sitting here hurting your back. If you get laid out, you won't be able to work. That should be an incredibly important decision for you to make is, is to go do that. So what's happening in our heads? What's happening for us to know what to do, know the right thing to do and not do it? 
That is the point of problem solved, decision made, um, to teach you simple habits for complex decisions, to, to unravel it and make uh, your thinking more clear, to help you develop a language of clarity to help the others in your life. Uh, yes, it's about productivity. I'm a productivity freak. I, I love it. Uh, yes, it's about saving you time, but it's also saving you stress. It's having better relationships, both personally and professionally, and, and having a better relationship with yourself as you provide your own brain and relationships with that clarity. Have a great day.